Next is snippets. So snippets are reusable blocks of content for emails, forms, and landing pages. And in these blocks, you can use text, images, links, and dates. The real amazing benefit of snippets is that it just makes content management so much more efficient. You make the change in one central place and those changes cascade down to all of the places that's being used. It's a big win if you're using a lot of Engagement Studio programs because Engagement Studio programs use email templates and as email templates exist independently of one another, it is such a pain to have to go into each email template and update them all so that they look the same in the program. Uh, other use cases that are very popular so far are webinar or event information. So the event, the event location changes or the timings change in the agenda and you want to just update that all in one go. For call to actions, so you may have a, a webinar that's recurring, but the landing page link changes each time that you run this webinar. So you can just replace the link that sits under the button, the call to action button in one go. Another one that people may not think of because it's not as sexy are legal disclaimers. So things like privacy policies, um, any of the legal spiel, and this means that no stone is, is left unturned in terms of updating that. So how snippets work is that they are associated to a campaign and then any of those assets that are related to the campaign can use the snippet. And here's um, an example of the snippet editor. As you can see, it's very simple to use um, and I don't think it will be any problem for people to understand how that works. One thing I will mention here is that there are now two types of snippets. So for the majority of us, we'll be using what's known as campaign snippets, those associated to a campaign. But there, there are also now business snippets which can be used across a whole business unit rather than being restricted to one campaign. If you're using business units, then you're, you've got a bonus feature there. I'm just going to play this quickly. So this shows how someone would go into a campaign, find the snippet assignment related list. And this is the association. So you can see this is the campaign I want to associate it to and this is the snippet. And that creates the link between the two. Of course, the assignment field now can also be a business unit if you're using those. And then when you actually come to apply snippets, you insert them by using the, the, merge, the merge field button and using what's called the merge picker. There's actually a section for snippets. And in there, you'll see all the snippets that are available for this particular campaign and then it's inserted in, like using these curly brackets. You can always identify snippets from the curly brackets. And um, yeah, that that's, will then render properly when you send the email or when you view the landing page. I would say there's minimal setup effort for snippets. Um, it's just more letting users know that snippets are available to use However, there are prerequisites involved, so you must have connected campaigns enabled and you must also have HML enabled. HML is the new Pardot merge language, so what you use for personalization, it's 
replacing variable tags. So you need to do those two things first before you think about snippets. Then apart from that, it's just about configuring user access. Um, so object permissions, ensuring they have the correct user role in Pardot, and then adding the related list, the snippet assignment related list to the campaign page layout so people can make the associations.